Hello everyone, welcome back. In this video, we're going to explain the second method of drawing rectangle. We're using rectangle command. Remember, I'm talking about rectangle command. Using rectangle commands, we're going to go for the second method, having length and width. Having length and width and one corner point. So we need three information here. Three information to do this drawing. That's why this method is not preferable. Why? Because when, I, when we have the length and width, we prefer drawing it with line. But I'm going to show it to you, but not in detail. Why? Because we know that there is a way that a method that we can just simply use it easier than rectangular command here. Now, if you check these examples, we have length, we have width. What about corner point? Do we have any coordinates? Do you see any coordinate on this drawing? No. If you don't have coordinate, what does it mean? Please remember this information. If you don't see any coordinates on the drawing, it means you are free to draw any way that you want. You are free to draw any way that you want. You are not bound to a coordinate system. You are not bound for a point that the coordinate must exactly come the way it's given. So I can draw this rectangle anywhere. So what does it mean? It means for the corner, I have to click. I can click anywhere to draw this rectangle. Let's show it to you. Let's show it to you. Now, let's say that we open the AutoCAD. I'm going to go for the limit. Remember, limit is the easiest one for students so far. Or if, if you don't like limit, you can let us know. We can help you to manage the way that to zoom. So let's say limit is 0, 0, 40, 20 for this example. So I'm going to do the limit first, prepare the drawing area before doing this one. So 0, 0, 40, 20. The process limits first lower left lower left corner 0 0 upper right corner 40 20 and then i have to follow the zoom z into a zoom all into now i have a screen if i draw that rectangle which is 6 by 10 i can see it on the screen i can see it on the screen let's see how we use look this is easy to draw it with line this is very easy to draw it with line I'm going to show it to you with a command to know it, but we know that no one is going to use this. I mean, most of the people, they don't prefer it. They don't prefer it. Maybe in some cases will be good to know these methods. So we activate the rectangle, activate the rectangle. Now, the first, it will ask you specify first corner point. We don't have coordinates and we are not bound to any drawing. I can click anywhere. I can I can start look we have four let's say we have this is the rectangle we're going to draw yes <clears throat> excuse me we can start anyway I can simply click somewhere here I can click here to draw 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 so I have four methods I have four methods I mean four way to do it it's one method with four way to do it it's important to know it why because if you are here, for example, let's say that you're choosing this one, you're choosing this corner to start. If you're using that corner, the length is to your right and the width will be that one. If you're starting with the other point, sure it's going to be different. If I start with the second point here, for example, if I start with this point, now the length will be to the left, the length will be to the left, and the width will be down and the rest will be similar i mean you, you can do this one as well right up so sorry left up right up why this is important you can see it now you can see it why this is important to know where do you start with so let's say i'm choosing number one as we have four point yes four corner points because i don't have coordinate i can start with any of them now let me do for all of them if i four if it's for three i mean this the rectangle will be in this manner 
for four rectangle will be in this manner let's say that I can choose any of these two I have to know that exactly where is the rectangle is located let's say I'm choosing number one let's say I'm choosing number one to draw the rectangle I'm gonna choose this one to draw the rectangle so you will ask me specify first corner point I don't have coordinate I can click here yes I can just simply click here let's say I clicked now it will tell me what if I move the mouth mouse it will tell me specify other corner I don't have other corner now you're gonna learn something in a command line so far we just say the read command line yes it tells you specify other corner point whether on the screen or here specify other corner point or now or what does it mean it goes for options now do I have corner points here I don't have corner point yes I mean if I check I don't have corner point I have length and width which you call them dimension so in that case what do I what do I do I will check the command line between the brackets you will see the options that we can choose now what do we have here it tells you do you have area because it says that specify other corner point or area dimension rotation I don't have area I have dimension yes look I can bring the mouse and click on the dimension this is one way the second one is what all the options they have one letter or two letter in a blue color in a blue color in a blue color so area the a is blue dimension the d is blue rotation r is blue what does it mean if i just type d here if i just type d yeah autocad is asking me please re read in the screen autocad is asking me what specify other corner point or d when i say d it will change it to dimension because this d stands for dimension you don't need to be capital it's okay small is also acceptable d stand for dimension so no need to bring the mouse click here i can just simply write d hit enter pay attention if i hit enter the command line changes what does it say specify length for rectangle let me repeat it again i start with rectangle i click somewhere click somewhere it asks me specify other corner point that's why i'm always telling student please read the command line always have one eye on the command line to see what does it tell you well I don't have other corner point I have dimension yes and instead of typing D I can bring the mouse and click on this one look if I bring the mouse over here I can simply click on the dimension it will still ask me what specify length of the rectangle the length of the rectangle please pay attention this sentence I'm saying it length for AutoCAD is always the horizontal dimension what does this mean I'm repeating again length for AutoCAD is always the horizontal dimension this is confusing a bit if I have a rectangle like this and a rectangle like this as engineer we know which one length which one width yes but AutoCAD does not know AutoCAD does not know which one AutoCAD take this one as length for real, this rectangle also this one is length that's what what they said that length for AutoCAD is the horizontal dimension it's not the biggest one remember this please remember this when it comes to AutoCAD in any for example for rectangle we have other commands as well they, they may ask for length length is the horizontal dimension not not as engineer AutoCAD does nothing as the engineer okay which one is bigger no because it's computer it needs to know which one goes in which direction so length for AutoCAD is the horizontal direction this is length for AutoCAD even though we know that this is width for us yes but in AutoCAD the horizontal the horizontal when you say the horizontal this is the horizontal this is length for AutoCAD this is length this is length for AutoCAD and the other one width will be the vertical one the vertical one will be width so width basically will be vertical this will be width it doesn't matter if it is small or big it doesn't matter vertical dimension will be the width so in our case in our case if you check so this is length I don't care if this is smaller than this one even let's say this is 16 I still will tell this one length for AutoCAD 
If even if it's 16, I will tell this one length for autocad. Why? Because it's horizontal. Well, it's 6. So basically, this is going to be the vertical one is going to be the width. The vertical will be width. So, AutoCAD here is asking me what? Asking me, specify length of rectangle. We have 10. I'll write 10. Hit enter. Then it will ask me, specify width of rectangle. The width of rectangle is 6. 6. Hit enter. Still hasn't finished. Still hasn't finished. Now, if I move the mouse, if I move the mouse, look. Where did I click? Where did I click? I clicked somewhere here, yes. I clicked somewhere here. Now, the rectangle in the beginning I drew, if you remember, we said that our rectangle was like this, was like this. I said, okay, let me choose number one. Number one, yes. So, I have to bring the mouse somewhere here and click. Why? Because look, I mean, this is change, yes. The location of the point is not here, it's the top one. So, what do I do? Look, I have to come in this way. If I come here, look, you just simply move the mouse. If you move the mouse, you realize that this is rotating about the first point that you clicked. Why? Because it tells you that, okay, where do you want me to put this rectangle? Do you want to put it in this quarter, or this quarter, or this quarter, or this quarter? Remember, there's four quarters. You simply just come somewhere here, look, like this, and you click, you have the rectangle. You realize that it, it takes time, yes? It takes time to do this rectangle by using rectangle methods. Well, when do we need it? When do we need? Sometime, and I don't find a way that to, to actually think that you, might, you, you cannot do this one with line. Thinking maybe somewhere we might need it. Well, there is one way to do this one. I'm going to show it to you when it comes to object snap. Object snap. If I want to find the center of this rectangle, if I do it with line, I will struggle. So I'm going to explain this one when it comes to that. But for now, for the beginners, I mean, know this. You have to know this method. Why? Because if I want to find the center of this one, there is an easy way. For example, I can simply find the center of this rectangle by doing something. So we have, we have some geometrical center if i activate this one i can simply find the center like this is the center of the rectangle so we prefer some time to do this one why because if not we have to find it manually we can find it manually but why find it manually when we can find it automatically this will be explained later not now i'm just trying to find a way that why this method is important now Look, I can do this one easily with line. Yes, if I if if the if the center is not my M, I can do this one easily. Click somewhere. Why? Because I know it. Click somewhere. Go in this direction. Ten. Come down. Make it vertical six. Go horizontally ten. Go up vertically six. Press escape. I drew the rectangle the same way here, faster by using line. But I cannot. I cannot, if I want to, for example, find the centroid for, let's activate this one. I mean, don't worry about this. I'm just explaining that, explaining why this might be useful. For example, if I want to find a centroid here, I cannot see it. But for this one, I can see, simply see where is the centroid here. Let's say I want to draw a line from here, goes to this corner. I can just simply find it here. But if it for this one, I have to do it manually, find the centroid. Where is the centroid? I cannot find the centroid here. This is the only difference that we have it here well there are other things but when it comes to 3d you'll understand it not here so but for now any of the method you're using it it's okay one difference between the two methods this is made by line this is made by a rectangle if it's by a rectangle if you click on it everything will be selected so if you delete everything will be deleted but if you do it with line you have to select four lines in order to delete the rectangle why because each of them are one object four objects you have it here four lines here only one rectangle so you can simply select it and this is we're going to talk about this way of is it important for us where do we use this one how is it going to help us we're going to explain this one not now later this is the second method that we have and let's repeat it again let's say i'm going to start with rectangle we click this time somewhere here. It doesn't matter. Let's say I'm clicking here. 
what let's before drawing let's before drawing to know what we want to do we want our rectangle to come like this where do i want to start i want to start with this point i want to start with this point it's okay yes it's totally fine why because i know that at the end this there will be the quarter there is the quarter that the rectangle will be inside this is important so i'm going to start with this point at the end i'll put the rectangle at this quarter so click somewhere because we don't have coordinate it will ask me to specify other corner point i don't want it i want dimension i can just simply type d d stand for dimension how do i know it i will read the command line i read the command line d the blue one just d if it is the i also blue i have to write d i but d the only one is blue is d so d enough here hit enter it will ask me to specify length of rectangle 10 hit enter specify width of rectangle 6 enter now again i have to select the quarter now the quarter we said that is somewhere here why right? because this was the point that we selected this was the point that we started so this is exactly the location that we have to click it doesn't matter where do you click it doesn't matter where do you click look anyway click click somewhere here it will place the rectangle there this is the second method of using rectangle we need to start with a point we need to start one of the cor corners then we need a length and length and width to draw the rectangle by using rectangle command rectangle command by the way the process are written here step by step what to do i mean this is it use a relative coordinate I mean, there is another way to do it there is another way to do it okay let's show you this method as well let's show you this method as well I and mean, this is also another method that we can use it let's explain this one as well with the length and width let's explain this method as well let's say i'm gonna use i'm gonna draw this rectangle again let's say I start with this point here with this point i want to draw it up to this point here now another way to do it we're not gonna go for this changing to dimension we're gonna use a relative coordinate system what was the relative coordinate system let's just show it on the screen we said that if we know let's say we are we are at this point we are at this point we want to send autocad to this point yes if we have if we have delta x sorry if this is delta x the difference between like from this point to this point delta x is what here delta x is the length yes the length this is the length and delta y it's the difference between the two points in the vertical direction that's going to be delta y which is the width i have width i have length i can use even these methods to send autocad to the second point i still can be considered as the first method as the first method but we're gonna use length and width the length will be delta x the w the width will be delta y so we're gonna use at at delta x delta y the way that we explained in the line that's also possible we're sending autocad from this point to point two by using length and width which falls into the category of relative coordinate system delta x delta y i can use this method as well so we're not going to change it we're not going to go to dimension remember because i'm going to use at system at we're going to say okay 10 unit because we're going to where remember uh, the directions the 10 is positive why because it's going to the right and since we're going to up again it will be positive for so for x positive for y positive delta x positive delta y positive so 10 comma we have 6 hit enter you have the rectangle which the dimension is 10 by 6 i use the length and width by using at also this is possible without going into dimension to telling autocad this is the length this is the width also these methods can be used to draw rectangles we're going to explain area methods area methods in the next video thanks for